this is the Kamen Rider Kabuto figure arts. This is an older one that came out around 2008. Here's a quick look at the back of the box art, but what we care about is the figure, so let's open it up. Oops, just gonna put those back. It comes with paper instructions in a little bag, which is interesting. Holding the figure in hand, I can say it feels pretty good and it looks great as well. It comes with his kunai gun, which you could have him hold either in gun mode or axe mode. And it has it in kunai mode as well. He has an open grabbing hand, totally not for grabbing boots. It is 100% for grabbing the throats of his enemies. And a trigger hand. In addition to his regular hands, he comes with two fist hands, an open hand, a trigger hand, and his iconic pointing up in the air hand. Back onto the main figure. The figure itself has a really good amount of detail on it, all the way from the top to the bottom. The head is sculpted wonderfully. And do you want to know what else is wonderful? You! When you subscribe to my channel, of course. And I guess you could say the head sculpt is wonderfully casted. <laughs> It even has some detail at the top of his head thing. Whatever it's called, I don't really know. The shoulders look great and have some nice detail as well. The Zector looks kind of off, but that's because it's so small. There's a small dick joke in there somewhere, just like in my pants. The rest of the belt has some great detail all the way around. There's a peg hole for the Hyper Zector, which it does not come with. He's got nice details on the legs as well. And the feet are die cast metal, giving it some extra weight. It's not really something they do for the more recent Rider figure arts. The bottom of the feet also have some molded details as well. The figure itself feels semi-solid. The top of the figure I'd still be a little bit careful with. A major unfortunate thing though is that the legs are super loose. And trying to get him to stand is a little difficult. The figure looks great and has some great paint application as well. All the red is nice and shiny. The blacks shine a little bit. The silver parts are shiny. You can tell a lot of time and effort went into making this figure to make it as good as it was for the time. Here's a quick look at the back of the figure. I really don't like all that text on there. It really gets in the way of the aesthetic of the figure. I feel like this figure captures Kabuto really excellently. And for the year it came out in, the proportions are pretty good, especially compared to the Decade figure arts which came out a few years after. This is the Violent Emotion variant that came out in 2010, and the proportions and sculpting on this one aren't the best. This one also has die cast parts on the feet and the knees. Side by side, Kabuto looks way better. The proportions are way more passable here. Now on for the posability. The head has a buttery smooth 360 degree turn. It can look up, down, and around because it's on a ball joint. These shoulder pads can move up so you can move them with the arms. That's about as high as I can get the arms to go. The arm is on a ball joint and can move 360. The arms can bend in. The hands can go 360. The waist can twist. The legs can spread about that much. The legs can go up this high. Knees can bend and can move back that far. It's got a little bit of ab movement. The feet can pivot side to side, but there is no 360 rotation. The feet can also move up and down, and there is some toe movement. Now a quick look at the weapons. The weapons are sculpted really great and they have some great molding on them. The paint job is done really well on this. It's very detailed for something so small. Here's his other weapon. This one also has some great detail on it and some excellent molding. As well as a fantastic paint job. Figure arts in general tend to have nice detail on small accessories. He can hold his weapons, place the weapon in there, and it holds it pretty decently. Swap out his hand for this one. And then he can place this weapon in his hand. Just like so and he looks great with it. Getting him to stand normally is fairly easy, but trying to get him into a more dynamic pose is really hard with the loose legs. The legs just keep sliding farther apart, so it might be a good idea to have him on a stand. It holds up pretty well side by side with the more recent figure arts. Here it is next to Kamen Rider O's from the Shinko... You know what, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. So here it is next to O's from the 2019 release. Here it is next to XL, also from the 2017 words that I can't pronounce release. Listen, I'm brown, what do you expect? Here it is next to the Rider Kicks release of Build. I'm never gonna get over how amazing this show was. Here it is next to the 2012 Deno release, and I still think Kabuto looks much better. I bought this one at a convention for $60, and while it is a good figure, I would still get a version that's more recent. Also just now his kneecap came off and I'm not really sure where it is anymore. Can you help me find this little bit right here? Come here, help me, help me. There we go. 